Woods on. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Super Mario Brothers X. I am Orcas. Last time we took down the secret in Pyramid of Fail and Pyramid Action Machine, which doesn't have a secret. Now we'll be, we'll be heading to another level that doesn't have a secret, Sandy Ghosty Hammer Town. Hmm, I'm missing up my words here. Um, I am alone this time because I figured I might as well practice practice doing things on my own. Mennonite's Revenge! Why didn't I use the bomb? And... Yes, contact! Alright, this is the first in this is the first level in which we introduce the boo. The only way you can knock out a boo is by hitting it with a hammer. No kidding. And luck and lucky for us, we happen to have a hammer in, in, in access right now. Or should I say a hammer bro? Now, if you, like, lose that midway, don't panic, because, don't panic, because, uh, A more later, B, B if you're wearing the Hammer Brother suit, you don't even need one in the first place. I'm just using Peach because, well, frankly, she has one on anyway, but she's really good with the Hammer Brothers, with her, with her floatiness. I can't believe I just called it that. Alright. Alright, this is not easy. If you miss, then you're probably going to die. You're probably going to die because you can't recover. You can take those things up pipes, luckily. That's an infinite boo pipe. If you know how boos work in any other game, when, when it comes to how they move, or the pattern of movement, that's the same exact thing. I'm surprised these bubble bombs don't explode. Oh yeah, news. I just got an emulator. No cash GBA emulator for, for DS games. I got I got the games Pokemon Black, Pokemon Oh crap. Not Pokemon Oh crap. Duh. Oh crap. Ah well I stopped saying that. This is very bad. Okay, as I was saying, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon explores the sky. Sonic Colors, S Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, New Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 64, and Mario Kart DS. All of them are on my computer and I didn't pay a cent. And no, it's not another thing. And my father actually approves of it. The Invasion 2. That's never a good sign. I'm going to take a wild guess and go with Toad. Correction, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. The character I wanted was Link for this. I was mixing up the Invasion 2 with the Invasion 3. The way to get a the way to do this is the way to advance in this level is by heading to those airships and killing the blue shy guy aboard, which destroys the airship for some reason. Bomb. It reminds me of the way the way you do it in Zelda Skyward Sword. They're not even they're not even real bombs. They're exploding plants. Everything's an exploding plant. Uh oh. Ah, uh, there's a leaf. Loopy.
Alright, you probably know exactly how to get rid of that one if you're not Link. But if you are Link, you could just go you could just stab. Go like I'ma stab you. No, that's not an actual line from somewhere. It's a line from something I did in a movie making course of the summer. It's, also, it's pretty much it's pretty much how I learned to make videos on iMovie before I got Windows Movie Maker and all that, and I died. So instead of doing this the cheap cheap way with Link, I'll be doing it the classic way with Mario. Now remember, Yoshi cannot go up these hooks. Whatever, whatever you try, Yoshi cannot go up these hooks. They get throat bomb and fall right onto Yoshi. Whoa, no Yoshi. Bad Yoshi. Alright, another thing you can know. Um, Yoshi can't go up these hooks, but he can tail down them. That was, a, that was actually pretty tricky. Oh, funny picture. This is one reason why you don't want to lose your Tanuki or whatever you do. Or Tanuki or Leaf. Alright, boss time! Another Birdo! Not too difficult with a Yoshi. Oh yeah, speaking of Birdo, if you're if you're a subscriber of Attacking Toucans, which I just happen to be, then you'll see that um He's doing a, he's doing a, he's doing a walkthrough of Super Mario Advance, also known as Super Mario Brothers, a Super Mario Brothers 2 re remake, which I actually used to own, but I could not figure out how to get past the first level. This this game itself, with all the plants, gives you a big gave me a big tip off. Unfortunately, I, got, I found this after I lost my game. So that's it for the um, Hurtful Hotlands. Rawest Forest, that does not give me a good feeling. Rawest Forest does not give me a good feeling at all. That music doesn't sound good. I mean, I know that music. Alright, this level has a secret. The Rawest Forest. Wait, I thought that was the world map. So we're going to the Ross Forest to go to the level called the Ross Forest. Screwball! I knew it. I love this music, but I just hate this. I despise this level. In fact, this is my least favorite world. 